This episode of This Week in Web Design is brought to you by Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com slash TWI for your special offer. Today we continue our live website redesign where we identify the goals of the network with the client here in the room. And we also connect the goals of the network with your goals as users and view and users and viewer viewers. I think that's what it is. Welcome. Welcome to episodio numero 25. I am your host, Jose Caballer, Chief Creative Officer of Digital Agency The Group. Every week here on the show, we actually answer your questions about web, de about web design, and specifically the questions around business, around tech, around creative, and around marketing. I got all four of them right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give me a hand of applause. Ari's smiling. Thank you, thank you very much. Ari's missing today, but welcome, gentlemen, welcome, everyone. Because we have so much to cover, we want to go through everything fairly quickly, but I don't want to go so quick as to forget one of the most important things about our show, and it's our partner, Squarespace. Why is that? Because Squarespace is awesome, and if you go to their website and you use the promo code TWI30, TWI30, you'll receive 30% off for three months on Squarespace. Also, you can sign up for 14 days free without any commitment. Just put in your credit card. They won't charge you, and it's pretty damn awesome. Ryan, how is Squarespace? It's awesome. Actually, I, I had to use them and two of their competitors, and I'm not a web designer. I'm kind of a graphics guy. And out of the box, no additional templates, no 50 bucks, no $100 for just something else to make it look good. It competes with everything else. Done. And also, that whole 14-day thing, there's a little secret. You can uh, email them, and they'll extend it for fairly long. I needed an extra Until week and a half. Until you figure it out. You yeah. needed it. Not I that you're slow or well, anything I'm like that. I'm slow. I'm okay, slow. No, I'm, but, I was just saying. Um, now that you are busy. slow. Busy is a better yeah, word. Right. Um, okay. But no, but I was evaluating a couple other people and Squarespace, and I emailed them up. I didn't even have to call them. They, I think it was for another 10 days. And then they said, if you need it again, just let us know. So if you're busy and you're trying to evaluate it, it seems like a great, like, no limitations option. So do me a favor out there in uh, Webland. Go to squarespace.com and just check it out. Sign up for the 14-day free trial. Even if you don't do anything with it, it's not going to hurt anything. They're not going to charge your card. Mm -hmm. Or use the promo code TWA30 to get 30% 30 30 off uh, for 30 days. It's pretty awesome. We're using it. We use it here on the network. We're doing projects as we speak on it. Mm -hmm. This week, Ari uh, added uh, Facebook Connect into Sounds it. And awesome. It worked pretty damn well. So I, I really would appreciate that. So getting back into the show, um, if you guys are watching live, you can also make comments. Please leave us comments on YouTube. I really appreciate the comments. And if you are watching on YouTube right now and it's air, uh, already aired, you can right here below the, you know, um, we're being helped here to, to show you where it is. Leave comments and questions because I answer them all personally, or the team here, the producers have this weekend will also answer them. Also on Twitter, uh, my Twitter is at Jose Caballer, at Jose Caballer, and you can see it right here, at Jose Caballer. Please tweet and tell me. Also, if you want the templates for everything you're seeing on this show, right at the beginning, and we're at the three minute mark, if you want the templates for all the stuff that we're doing, if you're a web designer, if you're a strategist, if we're a producer, we know who you are. Those of you who've signed up, we made you sign up a little form. If you tweet me, we'll send you to that, and we'll give you the templates to do this. It will help you immensely. Talking about that, Ryan, we talked about this at the beginning of the show. There's many of you asking me via Twitter, Jose, when the f bleep bleep are we going to start seeing <laughs> nice looking graphics? When are you going to start redesigning the site? Stop talking about it or stop doing all this wonky business strategy stuff and redesign the site. When is that going to happen, Ryan? Uh, it should be happening very soon. Soon. So right now we're, we're, yeah, we're like, well, soon hopefully. <laughs> I'm asking the same question. So, so, so Ryan is also the client, um, mm -hmm. and, and, and Matt's also the client. They're the client. The network wants to know when are we going to start seeing it. So to give you an outline of where we were, and I showed you this uh, roadmap at the beginning of uh, the uh, episode run that we're doing now, Right now, we're about an episode or two away from starting mm -hmm. to do information architecture, where we're going to start doing wireframes. More importantly than that, the wireframes will then lead to the visual design. We're going to be asking you at that point in about an episode or two, and some of you have already tweeted me and reached out to me and said, hey, can we help on the redesign of the network? And the answer is yes. You, our viewers, will be able to participate in the redesign of the This Weekend Network during the process that we're undergoing. And again, we're going to make some special announcements in the future, in a few episodes mm -hmm. from now, about how you can participate and do that. We will be doing design. But I want to be very clear and, and, and thankful to you to continue watching. If you're creative and you're watching this and you're asking yourself, why am I watching this? Keep in mind that one of the reasons why web projects sometimes go 
sideways a little bit, like they mm -hmm. might not go as, as well as they, they, they have the tendency, is because there not, might not be an alignment as to what needs to be built. The final thing I'll say before, for, before I get off my pulpit about this is that we, the group, we, the industry, are in huge need of user experience professionals. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you an example. Today I got a tweet uh, or a, or a SMS, an SMS, a, a text message. Am I like 50? Um, I got a text message from a colleague at another agency. Hey, Jose, can you help me uh, with a, I, we need a user experience, an information architect person for a project we're doing in San Francisco. I also get emails from user experience people saying, mm -hmm. hey, can you help us with some additional user experience? I'm not talking about one email. I'm talking about many emails every other week from mm -hmm. you, from people out there doing projects who need somebody who can figure out what the business goals are and translate them into wireframes, into sitemaps, and mm -hmm. into like what the structure of the site is. And again, I said this before, I've said it, if you've seen me speak around the, the transition to web, uh, if you can do this, you know, you, you make from $75 to $150 an hour, and you know what? I can't negotiate with you. We pay for it. We have to because it's such a, a demand, a skill that's in demand. So everything you see here that we're doing is part of the group's process to identify the needs of the users, and then identify the needs of the client of who, who our business stakeholder is, who's sitting here with us, and then translate that into information architecture, and then translate, 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 translate that into visual design. So thank you guys for listening to that. That's my four-minute rant at the beginning of the show. If you're good on the left side of the brain and good on the right side of the brain, and you can do site maps, wireframes, all that kind of stuff, you will make lots of money. All right. So moving on. Gentlemen, welcome today. Awesome. Thank you. Today we have joining us again from the This Weekend Network, Matt Robb, who is one of the awesome producers overall of the network and uh, a reason why you're watching this show here today. And also our new producer and also one of the main graphics people here at the, don't call him a web designer, uh, Ryan Summers, who's also the, the love child of uh, Susan Summers mm -hmm. um, from uh, many, many summers ago. Mm -hmm. And also joining us from the group, uh, we have Barrett Morse, who is the head of strategy at the group and who's going to be helping us through this exercises. And welcome, uh, Barrett, and you also have your legs back. Yeah, thanks, Jose. It's so, nice to be able to walk again. <laughs> yeah, last time he was here, he couldn't walk. He has uh, crutches because yeah. he got run over. He got run yeah, over by a reindeer. Um, so that, with that in mind, let's actually get started. Uh, we're at the seven-minute mark. We have a one hour ahead of us. Let's talk about where we are again. So, so last week we were doing users. Yep. Uh, at the beginning of the show, and I have them here to read, uh, we did the brand statement, the site statement. We did a really cool exercise that you can watch three shows ago and, and get back to it. And, and if you want to catch up on where we are, watch the last three shows because uh, you'll know where we've been. It's like watching Lost all in a row. You have to catch up before and figure out what the hell's going on. Uh, so this weekend provides educational and entertaining uh, videos to motivated people with direct access to their hosts in an intelligent manner to help them be empowered and make money. Yep. So we, the network, are providing educational video. And something that we can continue to refine that is that it's really, ex on a way, there's experts and it's, uh, we're going to find a, a, a hook as to what type of videos they are, yeah. aside from enter entertaining and educational. Mm -hmm. um, and motivational, et cetera. So that's something that we did early on so that we can define who we are as a network. The next thing is who our users are, which we've worked to define uh, through the last few episodes and what their needs are. And now we're wrapping up defining what our needs are as a network. So in that order, the need, who we are uh, at a core, at an essence, then second to that, who our users are and what they need. And now specifically, well, what do we need? And how do we kind of bring the needs of the users and the business needs of the network in line in alignment with each other. It's a pretty awesome uh, uh, process. It was developed at the group over the last several years, uh, over the last six, seven years. Uh, the group's been around for 10 years next year. And Barrett had a, a huge part in developing that from a business strategy standpoint. And I brought in the user experience part, and we kind of married those things together. And, and what you're seeing now is, is a marriage of a business strategy with user experience strategy, all in one fail swoop, which will hopefully help us do the, a, a great job with the network and you know what, get them uh, cranking uh, and continuing to do the awesome programming that you see here today, as such as this show. So in a second, I'm going to stop. We're going to create the fourth wall, and we're just going to focus on today's exercise. Mm -hmm. And I'll recap, and I'm going to get up very uh, softly so I don't kill my mic uh, and take a little bit of coffee with me. So the two last things that we're going to do, Barrett, and, and if you can introduce this a little bit by talking about the three things that we've been doing. So we have revenue, efficiency, and awareness, mm -hmm. which are? 
Which are the primary activities that any business is involved in, Jose? We did last week, uh, we looked at revenue. Mm -hmm. We looked at ways for, for the company to generate revenue. We prioritized those and mm -hmm. actually came up with what we see over here on the left. The partner program and the sponsorship program is really the primary revenue right. drivers for the company. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the same thing now by looking at efficiency. How can we do more with the existing resources? How can we reach farther? Mm -hmm. how, can we, how can we reduce costs or, or really increase the, the, uh, the ability for the company to operate? Mm -hmm. And then awareness. How do we uh, create a larger, uh, a larger uh, understanding of the business within the market? Mm -hmm. Same process that we did last week. We're going to uh, brainstorm list ideas. We're going to rate them in terms of their, their term to accomplish, short being within three months, mm -hmm. medium within a year, and long within three to five years. Mm -hmm. uh, rate them on their desirability, the DES, and their obtainability, the OBT, on a scale of one to ten. Total that up in the same way as last week when the really important stuff bubbled up to the top. Right. We're going to see the same result this week. Not to be confused with Old Dirty Bastard, and not to be confused with um, also, the uh, horrible Halo OTSD. Do you remember that one? Yes. All right. Uh, ODSC or something like that. So, so, so let's recap this again. So for those of you watching that are creatives, all we're doing is basically prioritizing two lists out of three. The third we already did. The first one was revenue. Like, what are the priorities for the website from uh, generating revenue for the network standpoint? Uh, then in addition to that, now we're doing how can the website make the network more efficient or what can we do around the website to make it more efficient? And then thirdly, what can we do from an awareness standpoint to help promote and help uh, uh, create more awareness of the programming that we have on the network using the website and using the web? And keeping in mind that we're not limited to the web, we're not limited to the uh, uh, just the website itself, right. it's a whole ecosystem, Entire Twitter, experience. you know, Facebook, Facebook Twitter, et cetera. Right. So let's go into it right away because I know Matt's really willing to go. Um, Matt, from an efficiency standpoint, as one of the key producers here and been doing it for a while, both on television and on this, what would you say are the key things that the website and the web ecosystem needs in order to be more efficient? Just like name them out, bam, 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 bam. Templates, of course, for the shows. You know. Sure, yeah. Message boards. <clears throat> yes. The ability to create a community. Uh, uh, easy community, mm -hmm. easy community, uh, message boards, excellent, thank you very much. Um, One of the things that bubbled up uh, last week, so, some type of way to, uh, like pathway, guided pathways. Guided like, pathway. If you like web design, you'll probably like these, but not necessarily just generic to the, sh like the show proper, but like to specific episodes. Like if you like web design, you'd probably like Jason's talk with David Hammer Hansen. You know, like something that's more targeted than just like, yeah, if you like web design, you obviously are going to like startups. So you won't associated like video games. content. Correct. Yeah, yeah, like a tagging system probably that has... Tagging system, yeah. Yeah. related uh, content. An ability to like certain things a bit, like, mm -hmm. you know, much like the Netflix queue. If you like certain things, it'll suggest other things for you. Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead. We, we talked about this before, um, like some type of login system or some type of way, I don't know if it's cookie-based or something, but some way for us to identify users individually rather than just saying, hey, if you think you like this, like, so we can start bubbling stuff up to the surface for specific users. So session management. Something, yeah, I don't Behavior know. Behavior tracking or yeah. something like this. I would love to be able to say, hey, you normally don't like video games, but, or you watch video games. You normally wouldn't watch startups, but we had the guy who did Unity Engine on that episode. You would really like this one, and I want to be able to push it to you instead of just pulling you in. So unique session ideas. So again, to just real quick break the fourth wall, the design of the site is not just the visual design and the information architecture, but also the uh, design <coughs> of the system itself of the uh, uh, application architecture, uh, the database architecture, uh, of what, how we execute and what software we use. For example, the other day we had to implement uh, Facebook Connect mm -hmm. into uh, Squarespace. All these decisions are being made based on the things that we're prioritizing here and what efforts to make will be based on this. So back to the session. So session ID, unique session IDs. We talked about a dashboard, like mm -hmm. basically a, um, a viewer dashboard, but also a host dashboard, yes, like a viewer right. dash and also a, uh, a host mm -hmm. dash. And somebody uh, talked about relevant to our uh, partners, uh, our, our sponsors, mm -hmm. potentially it has also a partner dash. Yeah. So it's a, a view in which the partner can see, like here's everything that's happening on the show that I'm sponsoring. Here's mm -hmm. how many people are tweeting about it. Here's how many people are. I would love that. I, stage one right now ROI. feels like just getting more viewers. But stage two, when we're starting to talk about more, is just content and hosts. And having a host dashboard that was like, here's your kind of workbook to figure out what you think the episode should be coming up, 
with your producer virtually, and then to maybe compare to other people's episodes around the week. Because if something like Google Plus comes out, four of our shows, if we made verticals correctly, are probably all going to be talking about it. But you would want to know what Jason might be planning on talking about, so you can either comment ah, it or you don't step over the top of it. But programming, programming internally, overview. yeah, yeah, Internal. internally, yes. And we can talk about that again and again. Not, I, I won't even say when I'm breaking the fourth wall. Something to mm -hmm. be very present to is that. We're web design, we're doing web design of the site, but look, the website is just one small component yeah. of the success of the business, digital and otherwise. Mm -hmm. So everything that we're doing here from a consulting standpoint, and most more recently at the group, something that I'm experiencing is that when a client comes to us and we have to deal with their web presence, well, not more recently, for a long time, that a lot of other stuff isn't dealt with at the business. Yeah. Or the, and now the question is, do we do it? For the most part, we don't necessarily do it, but we right. have to highlight it, point it out, and say, you might need to address these things. Yeah. So an example here is very specifically uh, about the uh, host uh, programming, how we do the pro we talk the about host it. producer relationship. Yeah. To be able it, it's funny how we're doing this is that we, we start realizing just as a team the customers are getting wider and wider. Like at first everybody's just customers are our viewers, and then we all agreed sponsors obviously are, are our customer, but really all the producers and the hosts are kind of another customer that the site's got to serve. Right. And it, 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 the site's really just the hub of all the business. Whether or not the viewers see that or you just see the host part, but like, it really is becoming the place where we're all managing everything together and you know, broadcasting from as well. But like, we really, that'd be something that'd be huge for us. So from an efficiency standpoint, it would make sense to have host workbook, host tools. Yes, I like what your idea from a few weeks ago that you said, look, it would be great to do some of the same process for the host. Like, mm -hmm. what show do you want to do? Who's yeah. your audience? How do we identify yeah, those, et cetera? Exactly. So host tools is really interesting. Uh, and I, I think it's a, cre re a really valuable tool set that we could potentially create, similar to what we're doing here, mm -hmm. so that the host can prioritize what they're going to be doing on their show. And just in terms of efficiency, too, I mean, the, your show starts with you. You know, like, I'm here to service you, but if, if that data can work its way through the rest of the tool set, you know, you generate ideas, I that like helps that. everybody, just yes. in terms of efficiency's sake. Thank you. So, so, so in a specific kind of very granular uh, for the host, mm -hmm. what do you mean by that? Like, do you mean? Um, I mean, from the basic level of, like, these are all the hot topics going on right now, and I have, like, for you, if you had 10 different ideas you want to talk about, and I'm managing all of the same vertical, I know that you'd be stepping on Jason's toes if you were talking about some specific part of Google+, Plus, and that's already been covered ad nauseum for an hour and a half to two hours. So you may have a, a composing or a different opinion that might make it interesting, or we might be able to talk about a different component. Um, some of our competitors, it, it happens all the time. I listen to tons of podcasts, and they will have the same, essentially the same show four times in a row because, because there may not have been communication amongst the hosts, and they're bringing up the exact same points. And to be honest, for as a sponsor, if there's not another reason for someone to listen to another hour and a half, it's kind of a wasted opportunity. So it's almost a host yeah, topic that. parking lot, and it's yeah. a way that. It maybe it, it might be simple as like a, a host, like I had dinner the other day with some yep. of the hosts, extremely invaluable into mm -hmm. understanding who their audiences are and why their audiences watch them. Right. For my show, like I wanted to set up some follow-up time and calls with their producer. Yeah. You know, so it's basically host time yep. you know, together. Like it's almost hosts. like building a separate, at the same time, community. And it doesn't have to be the yeah. site. It could just be dinner. Yeah. You could it, have... it could be dinner. It doesn't yeah. have to be like, let's build a site, no. monthly dinner. It could be something simple within the site. You could have a host message board for yeah. the topics of the week. Here are the topics for the next two weeks that we're going to be talking about. Exactly. It's private, it's closed, and they'll be opened up as the episodes come on. So that gives the host a chance to interact with exactly. each other. Exactly. And if, if it could be, and again, it could be again, open to the public, too. Yeah, well, well open to. Ah. Things we're talking about. Ah. That's another way to get it. Um, I mean, it goes to, right to, I mean, to, to there, to there's no reason to hold the cards tight. The partner program that we're already yeah, talking about is that that's another good. feature that would be incredible is that at a certain level of a partnership, you're part of, not to use a popular metaphor now, but part of that circle. You so, know, like you're inside the, the producer circle. So people who are in the producer circle can access what the hosts are talking exactly. about. And, and the idea behind a message board is perfect, but if it's constructed for efficiency's sake for the host right. in a unique right. manner where you take the ability to communicate, but you streamline it, and it's, okay, our shows are topic-driven, right. and specific parts of that topic. You make it something that's easy for people to get into and get out of, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. Love it. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. Barrett, anything else? What else can we do efficiency-wise on the site for our users? Scheduling. I would love, I would love like both externally and internally. That kind of goes but back to host, but uh, we don't have a very effective or, or efficient Here are all scheduling. Our show schedules. Here's what here's they what's are. Here's what's out. coming up. Yeah. Here's a way for you to, to share those with other people. We have a very rudimentary sharing element. tools to share programming. Yeah, I mean sharing everything. It's hot button thing to be able to share and tweet and Facebook everything afterwards. 
but especially because it, we pride ourselves on the live programming, I'd love to be able to stoke the fire of more people telling Free. people, guess what, Damon Lindelof is gonna be on the Kevin Pollack chat show in three days. He's gonna be on in 15 Interesting. minutes. Interesting. He's on right now saying this. So this is be... ties to awareness, mm -hmm. but it's also efficiency. Uh, an efficient way to create awareness pre mm. and post, but pre And even during, I mean, during is a big thing. Enduring, mm -hmm. we talked about this whole thing being a movement um, and uh, about it being about, you know, this kind of uh, bigger than than just, you know, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So w what if, if as part of this idea of the movement, we provide, it would be great to provide some sort of, um, I hate using the word street team kind of stuff because it's no, kind of that... lame at this point after, you know, uh, it's been kind of killed to death by marketers. No yeah. offense to you out there who are marketers. We love you. We work street with team you. Is... We're marketers too, but in a different way. It feels uh, like it's the 90s version it's of social media. It's the 90s version media. of social media. Yeah. So, so if, even if it's in a social media sense, but like tools to allow people mm -hmm. to promote it, whether it be badges, whether it be having really you know what, it could just be the templates to the shows are very yeah. standardized. Yeah. So like on the graphics on air, we always have like a lower third with Twitter, with all the stuff that you need yeah. to know to kind of help, or even the dashboard always has it in a specific way. Mm -hmm. what, what can we say with that? So that's sharing, I guess, mm -hmm. tools. But Well, it's almost like, like a media kit going the opposite direction. So, so, so yeah, so let's call it media kit for now, mm -hmm. and we'll put it on both awareness and efficiency, but what I'm trying to get to is even a more 21st century kind of idea of mm -hmm. if I'm a producer, if I'm a viewer and I have ownership of this show, yeah. like, it could be as simple as somebody can create a podcast uh, in response to our shows, mm -hmm. or we can have ancillary content mm -hmm. you know, that does covers the stuff that people might be asking us for. It's like, Jose, can you talk about how this all relates to creativity? And mm -hmm. we have a side note of the show. It's like, by the way, watch video, this video, mm -hmm. which shows you how this got applied to a project Yeah, you know, in design form. I don't know, I'm making that up, but okay. No, I like it a lot. Ryan, right. I like something you brought up. Uh, it w was, how do we help people understand when the show, what's happening on the show and when it is? Yeah. And so schedule? You know, can we, well, schedule, but also just real, like, announcements. Mm -hmm. Five minutes till start. Push. Yeah. Uh, here's something that we just that was just trending. Push. Exactly. Uh, those things that are going on prior to and then during the show. As, as it's had a live moderator of all the shows like that's happening somehow, like on Twitter. Yeah. Like the the network is saying, hey, the team is setting up. You know, mm -hmm. watch it. Right. Here's coming up next. I mean, that, that, like, that that's the idea that the whole network was built on was that like we could be the MTV of entrepreneurship plus whatever, and we're we're. We're getting there, like the capabilities are there, but but We're talking in the future. Don't that, talk any limitations. I, Everything is possible. That, those are definitely the ideas. Obtainability that, will be rated lower. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk but about those it. are definitely things that that the core of uh, you see this right now with one of our main competitors is that he's been doing it for seven or eight years and he's finally getting to the point where he's approaching twenty four seven and you get that kind of nicety of now you're not just doing these isolated little things, you're doing things in context with each other. You know, like we have the idea of verticals, we have the idea of you know interstitials, we have the ideas of all this stuff and they've never been integrated. So exactly what you're talking about is like the ability to have people feel like there's always something going on on this weekend. Right. How can we facilitate that? How can we say like instead of just throwing up any random show in the stream, actually like something that's there that people count on and always rely on and it, it feels like a TV channel that just happens to be on the web and we're interacting with people all the time though. It's not just a dead signal. Right, there's a conversation, it's a two-way conversation or yeah. actually a multi-way conversation yeah. where the audience is interacting, the producers, the hosts, exactly. everyone is having the conversation and, in real and time. And it's not just a conversation, it's a push-pull where at any moment if for some reason they were watching something and we mentioned David Hanmeyer Hansen four mm -hmm. times today, if they're like, hey, can I see some more? We're like, yeah, we have that. and could rapidly change, like, no, the next show we're going to put on, as a follow-up to what we just talked about, live, we can just switch to, here's this awesome episode Jason had. Right. Well, like, well, some way to be able to facilitate that internally. I like that, and let's actually just note it, because the two things are one, and well, let's call it a VJ kind of yeah. feature, or... Or fans as VJ. Or I mean, fans as VJs, thing. and that's a great one, actually, I love that. Mm -hmm. But actually, uh, equally important, and, and pro no, actually, I'm still not running out of space here. Uh, the yeah. other thing I was going to say is actually, uh, it's a Mac programming guide or a guide to the network and it yeah. can be a video episode and it can go hey here's what the network is about oh. and it's kind of pre-recorded as a nice yeah. it's like here's how the network works here's the topics it's yeah. kind of like when you buy a, a computer it shows you what it is exactly so this is kind of like a, a network overview kind of thing yeah that's is, where those interstitial idea kind of comes in where it's like this is what we're about and we we have enough programming content that actually explains and ties the network together instead of just a bunch of random things exactly under our and it can ask the questions hey yeah. are you a and we talk about our users are you trying transition in your careers. Mm -hmm. You should watch This Weekend Startups. You should yeah. watch this. I love Adult Swim and how funny their oh. like, interstitials are. They're hilarious. And, now, and we don't have this, to make them not funny, but they have to be valid.
valuable. And yeah. also about the most efficient thing you could do, white text on black, like when it started. That, that was the, the authored voice of Adult Swim, and it was only because it was the easiest thing they could do. Right. And it was probably it the was only way they could get that. ownership over it. It was cheap But then it became easy. the voice, right? right. Like yeah. you saw t-shirts with just white text on you know, black backgrounds. It was like, you saw that, you knew it was Adult Swim. Yeah. Well, right. Kind of like what, what the, the conversation we were saying, it becomes almost like the turntable of That's what I was thinking of, too. Uh, video exactly. programming. It's to, you know, so people have their rooms, they're creating the turntable yeah. discussion around it. Uh, Love it. Mm -hmm. so, so for the sake of time, we're at the 24 minute mark and uh, we still have a little bit to go. So let's, um, let's actually begin prioritizing. Are we missing any? Like right here, do we want to like do a few more here on the uh, how the efficiency? Something that we haven't talked about per se. Uh, we did talk about programming. We talked about this network overview and this kind of uh, BJ fans, et cetera. Is there anything that the site can help to make the programming more efficient? One thing, and we've hit it on a couple of times, and it will probably uh, spill into awareness as well. But mm -hmm. host cross promotion. Yep. Okay, I like that. What, who this week is also something of interest, Jose, to what, what you're talking about here, or even to you just personally? Mm -hmm. What are some of the other hosts that would have that same, this mm -hmm. ties really well in with what we're talking about? I think that goes back up to that concept of really shoring up the verticals. Like, mm -hmm. really, we've, we've done it already. We've eliminated some shows or put shows on hiatus that didn't fit into a nice, a nice mm -hmm. niche. Mm -hmm. and, and now, now the, the site needs to do the job of reinforcing that, which it doesn't really do right now. Like, if you go to the site right now, it's current shows and classic shows. It's not. We need to do the vertical. Well, we need to communicate what the, what the show is about, and that goes into awareness. I'm sorry, what the network is about. Mm -hmm. But we also need to then begin kind of um, based on the, based not just on the communication, but structurally begin to yeah. uh, uh, build the shows around those verticals, et cetera. But that said, also, uh, from uh, the dinner with the host that happened last week, mm -hmm. one of the insights that, that I had just from meeting with the host and you know the producer of Pensado's place is awesome. Yep. Uh, Herb, uh, shout out, big shout out to Herb, amazing guy, a legend in his industry, mm -hmm. um, and has tons of great ideas on what makes their show very successful, which is an amazingly successful show. Mm -hmm. I think it's 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 just off the rocker. Yeah, it's like it's the, the, the sleeper hit of the season. Mm -hmm. it's so so amazingly successful. Um, the, the, the insights that he has on producing the show and on their viewers and on what works isn't necessarily shared across all the hosts per right. se. So what I, I, host forum is fine, but I would say almost like a host's, like, I don't Best know what it is. Host's host's orient it's, it's, it's just some interaction between the hosts mm -hmm. yeah. and between the network and all the programming. Right. You know how networks might have like programming meetings once in a while? Yeah. We're, we don't have to have them every so often, but maybe every three months there's mm -hmm. a quarterly host get together like yep. host, camp. host camp there we go we'll call mm -hmm. it that all right that's it let's move on all right so for uh the efficiency let's talk about short term and long term let's do term first first is that good yeah it's great that's all great. right so let's do term first and i'm going to use green and then red at the end to highlight the finalists so real quickly uh show templates that is short term mm -hmm. uh easy community that is short term message, message boards, boards which is same short term, wayfinding, making it easy to find content as it relates to what you're interested in, that's mm -hmm. short term. Related content is the same, short term. Tagging, similar, short term. Like, short term. Login and cookies, that medium term maybe? Or short term? I feel like, I, I don't know how long so it takes, to, that's bigger, right? It's, uh, it isn't, uh, no. Squarespace that we're building yeah, supports right. it. So Facebook Connect, yeah, Facebook Connect too. Facebook Connect could be yeah. short term or medium term. It could be Facebook yeah. Connect, all right, so let's you do could, SM. I mean, I imagine you could have phases, right? Like you could. A base level functionality comes in right off the bat, and yep. then it's more medium. complicated. It's medium. So medium, so let's keep it medium then, as a priority. Session ID is the same thing, medium. Yeah. Viewer dashboard, that's uh, where the viewer can see all the different kind of trending and Twitter and You know, a viewer Facebook. dashboard even kind of comes into the, have I watched this yet? There's so mm. much content. Even, even just a simple, these are my three shows I watch, have I watched it yet? And it, with the, in the future... Like subscriptions on YouTube? Yeah. Yes, yes. So do we want that as a feature on the site? Like sure. Here yeah. the things if I subscribe to a show, they'll know exactly when the clip or the episode goes live. And, 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 and we'll let them alerts. know they've seen it. Ah, mm -hmm. That's a good one. I would love a checklist just to know which shows I watch, to be honest. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, so, you know, our shows are supposed to go on at the same time every week, but sometimes our hosts can't make it, or we go early, or we go later. Free tape. We, in the future, as we start adding more additional, what did you call it, ancillary content, right. that'd be great to have a checklist with that as well. Like, that's integrated. Like, yeah, I saw episode 25, but I did, did I see Ari talking about... You know, designing logos that was yeah. released halfway in the week, like a way to just keep track of what you've seen and what you haven't. This is a really great tool, and, and that's something that that I that I think it, it's uh, the viewer dash has a lot of other stuff that we're talking about, but mm -hmm. let's just leave it at viewer dash, uh, host dash, 
which is for the host to be able to see how their show is doing. I mean, I use YouTube for this. I just go look at the ratings, mm -hmm. and I don't know all the statistics from iTunes or from anything else, but you know, I don't even know if we need to have that per se on this. This mm -hmm. is mainly just for the host to see uh, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Facebook activity all in one place. Yep, and maybe a place to manage your communication with the producer. Got it. So this is medium term, maybe. Mm -hmm. Partner dash, also medium term. Host workbook. I think this is short term. Yeah. We can do this very simple, mm -hmm. really low tech. What is a host tool? Host tools is things like, um, you know, uh, similar to this, mm -hmm. but it was asset related. I remember that it's, it's really the same. It's dash, workbook, um, yeah. ways for the, the host to look at topic that they can you know use. Yeah. So maybe that's more comprehensive. This is a long term. Thing. Yeah, this is a long term. Okay. Uh, topic parking lot and host time. Host time, host message board, all these things are similar. Yeah. And I would say that they're what short and medium. Short? What's topic parking again? It's, it's, a, it's a, it's a, go ahead. That was the general idea of if there's three shows in a, in a vertical, mm -hmm. um, you can say, hey, I'm grabbing Google Plus circles. You can grab hotspots, you can grab this. But ah. This is me kind of ah. claiming ownership of a have topic a idea, subject within end. it so we don't step over each other. So those are definitely all short term. And also, it's a great way to highlight if we both really want to talk about it, well, then maybe you can be the guest host on that yeah, show with me. Maybe it's hosted. Host that, message great. is easy. We could do that in yeah. short term. So mm -hmm. short term, yeah. I mean, Schedule is short term. Scheduling a, a host time together is easy. That's yeah, I feel like we, lot is easy. It's in we the definitely, board. scheduling needs to be in the launch of the new site. Okay, so that's short term. Mm -hmm. uh, sharing um, programming ideas, that's the same. Mm -hmm. That's the same as, as above. Top so media kit, I would say that's kind of like medium. Yeah. Um, and then announce media kit and announcements is one thing. Mm -hmm. no, the, announcements were the uh, the, the constant. Ah, uh, that's push. the concept of VJ. That's the constant push yeah. of here's what yeah. the network's mm -hmm. happening. And even even in this case scenario, I, is that say farms or farts? It looks like uh, fans. 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 Okay. <laughs> and VJs. Not farts. <laughs> Not farts. Let's not say VJs that. and fans or fans doing VJ. Like people make. I you, love that turntable for for. Yeah. I mean, we made this joke I think two episodes turn ago. Turntable. Turntable awesome. with YouTube is going to be the next thing sooner or later. Write it down. Like Be, someone will video. do. Me and my friends on Fourth of July with nothing to do. Someone's DJing with eight people across the world, and we all have YouTube stuff queued up. And whoever does the better guy falling down and getting his head smashed is the guy who wins. <laughs> and it's going to be people DJing so it, it's group with YouTube viewing. clips. It's group viewing. It's group it's viewing, but yeah. Viewing and I get the same thing. I, I, I love the idea. I think it's brilliant. But do that with our content. Tur with our turntable. Clips, so those are medium terms. So mm -hmm. the, the the fans and BJing and then. I mean, to be even honest, something even simpler it in could a short even term, be long term fan playlists. If, if I could do fan playlists that they're like, you know what? Favorite episodes. I've watched every single episode of Jason, and these are the top five you have to watch if you're about to start your company and you I want to put it. your business plan together. Favorite episodes. You know what we should start doing too, and this is, goes to awareness, and I'll put it up as awareness. Is user stories so mm -hmm. like we can um, we can kind of based on Twitter uh, we can um, we can um, interview and mm -hmm. pick out people who watch the shows Jason's show Pensado's place yep. and see how they match to the user profiles that we did. By the way, everybody that I've seen on Twitter says the profiles match really? to them. Oh, that's awesome. Tea. Um, it's good when you get the back that like so, we so actually again, follow guys, people. For you, the, for for those of you who are out there watching. Below on this episode, we want you to kind of give us ideas on what things you think will make your watching more efficient. What what ideas you would like to see? Let us know mm -hmm. uh, on, on on YouTube. Uh, tweet me at Jose Caballer at Jose Caballer uh, and 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 let us know like exactly how can we help you? Yeah. Uh, here's the Twitter right there. <laughs> and if you see um, something that we got really excited about. The, if you um, see something that we got really excited about that you don't necessarily agree, let us know that too. Like both ways. Yeah. Like if there's something that we're super stoked about and you're like, guys, I'm never going to use that. If you disagree that helps with us what too. we're saying or if you agree mm -hmm. or if you have something that's missing, either way, you just say it. So I, what, what just came up is a user stories is yeah. like where we can actually go on Twitter and then do an interview. Mm -hmm. You know how on uh, uh, Adult Swim, you know, you have stories, people calling, yeah. it, hey, you know, <laughs> it's like... Wait, no, that's on Frederator. Yeah. That's on channel Frederator and on Adult Swim. We're People just going to label off, let's just get all the features of all the sites we love. We've got them. Let's mission them all together. Yeah. It's we've got them Ranker, yeah. Turntable, well, that's why we have to, that's Adult why we have Swim, to prioritize Frederator. Because otherwise, a lot of creative people create too much shit. You know, what <laughs> might be useful for that for the, for well, let's the finish. fans yeah. and the efficiency is actually having segments within the episodes. Yeah. So here's this five minute chunk or this mm -hmm. 30 second chunk or this point around it. Yeah. Maybe user tagging in the videos. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that might even be a great thing for interstitials, too. Yeah. Is that that's one of the, just the things that happens between well, our YouTube shows and the network. Well, tag inside, by the way. Yeah. Yep. Inside uh, episodes. So, okay, so network, um, all right, so timing-wise, we're at 34. Mm -hmm. uh, network uh, overview, that's, I think, uh, medium or long? Or short, sorry. 
that's a little video or I think that's something that that it's it's a medium provides medium. There, there, there's bits we can do that are short term and then there's a overwhelming kind of thing that we're going to build out as yeah. well and again this could be simple it could be let's just leave it medium so cross promotions between hosts I think that's short yeah that we need to build the template for that really quickly host, host camp. camp medium mm -hmm. uh, favoriting of and then segments here are my favorite episodes. And you see, this could be medium or long if it's more complex, have a feature built mm -hmm. in within the system. Or it could be short term where we do interviews and we ask people to, hey, send us your top five episodes. And mm -hmm. people are like, here are my top five episodes. Yep. Um, so let's I mean, see again, medium. that goes back to it would be great if, if as we're building community, every show, we already have, every show has four or five kind of power users. Mm -hmm. And those guys are kind of an authority on parts of the show that if I went to their profile and said, you know what, which, which things does Nunamaya think User is the access. best. Yeah, yeah, is the best for this. I can always just go to his profile, and basically track what he's been watching, right. and just uh -huh. basically say, you know, instead of subscribing to a show, subscribe to whatever his playlist is, whatever Got his it. previous, you know, watches. Were. That's a really good like way of doing it too. Or, yeah. yeah, a little bit. Show like that. segments. I put short term. Are you guys agreeing or disagreeing? Well, yeah, we're already like doing it, but it's something segments. that if we, if yeah. it was more functionality to do it, easier on our own site, we'd probably be doing it a lot. So more. like, if we could add little segments that are shorter to the show, like, yeah. we, hey, we cut up this week's show into five things. Mm -hmm. Here is the main show, and then here's all the segments. Yeah, again, Brilliant. back to that, that That's short -term. fan created playlist or user created playlist even on our site where we can just drop them in, that would be awesome. But this is brilliant because we can cut up one show, yep. like let's say today's one hour show into Three, you know, four, five three, four, five segments. segments and yeah. makes them, every every yeah. three minutes, every five minutes, right. there's, a, there's a point. There's so a, again, yeah, exactly. gentlemen, let's keep us moving. So in terms of desirability, it's like how much do we want this? And then obtainability is how much uh, do we think that we can mm -hmm. uh, actually obtain this because we have the resources, the time, et cetera. This is so, one through 10? Yes, yeah, one, one through, through 10. 10, 10 being best. So desirability, show templates, 10. Uh, easy community, 10. Message boards, 10. Mm -hmm. Wayfinding, 10. Easy wayfinding. Related yeah. content, 10. 10. Tagging, 8. 8. I mean it. Liking button, 10. 10. 10. Logging and cookies. Desirability. How desirable seven. do we want to log in? Yeah, 7 or 8. 7. Uh, 8. 7. OK. Session identification. It's the same thing. Seven. Yeah, 7 yeah. together. Uh, viewer dash. Oh man, all these are desirable. How, just <laughs> how, desi how desirable? We can that, do we'll can obtainable ten. in a second. Well, you know, compared to the other dashboards, I would say viewer dashboard's the most. Okay, so, so we'll make it a nine. Nine, I'd say the host is about a six. Partners about a eight. Yeah, because okay. they're more important. Host than workbook. Hosts. Host workbooks is six. Six or seven. This host. is this is not online. This is like what we've done just in through, this yeah process. exactly. Yeah, host tools is a six. Topic parking five As or six. As a host, I'm feeling left out, but that's yeah. okay. Now, topic parking. Uh, topic parking will get more as we get more shows. That as we make the six, verticals seven? more dense. Yeah, six. Thank you. What's the host, host time? time? What is this is the same as uh, host. Yeah, uh, six. Host party. Two. Host camps. Yeah. Okay. Uh, host messages. They're all really busy anyway. Yeah. They're not going to show up. Host messages. Message uh, boards. Host message boards. Four. Four. Uh, scheduling with hosts. Scheduling. Or is that scheduling? Like no, that's so scheduling. Showing the the audience. Nine. Scheduling. Oh yeah, nine. Uh, sharing programming. That's the ability for a user to say, yeah, "Hey, seven. I like this. Please watch." Media kit is kind of like four downloadable four five. kind of kits. Four four users to be like super fans. Yeah. Announcements. Uh, this is live like fans BJ and announcements. This is like, hey, on the network. This is almost like a this week in the network. This week. Yeah. Six. Six, mm -hmm. so we'll go across six, six, six. Mm -hmm. um, network, network overviews. Here. I think that's like a five or six. Five or that's six. Nicety. Cross promotion. That's a seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Host. Host Computer? camp. Four. That's Host. a four. Because that feels like it's on there twice. It's on there like four times. That's okay. Okay. Uh, sec, uh, it's me being excited about. Hey, let's meet the other host. <laughs> uh, so favoriting favorites. and segments. Small favoriting segments. Favoriting is a nine, and segments is a seven. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Everybody agree? You disagree? Agree? Agree? agree. You're I'm good? Alright. So going once, going twice is like an option. My Easy cupcake's one. wearing out, so we need to work fast. I have some dew in the mountain. Alright. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, our new sponsor. So, um... Uh, on the same scale of 1 to 10, obtainability. how obtainable are these in, this, in the term, in the short, in the medium? Short. Okay, yeah. great. <clears throat> so show templates. That should be fairly straightforward. 7, 8, it should be pretty easy. So let's say uh, 8. <laughs> 
Uh, easy community. Easy <laughs> community. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Quickly, easy guys. community. That, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be relying on you guys for some of that, like easy community building. Uh, no, I mean, that's uh, yeah. fairly simple. In, to in the implement. room, we have Ari, we have me, we have uh, we have strategy, we have mm -hmm. design, we have tech, uh, we have all the mm -hmm. different components. I would say that that is obtainability. That is an eight. Also, mm -hmm. message boards. That's also an eight. Mm -hmm. Wayfinding. That's, that, that's a kind nine. of all of us. Yeah. That's a design. Uh, related content. That's also relative to the design, but also to us being able to. Mm -hmm. Identify and map that content. So I would right. say this is an eight because there's algorithmic related, and then there's also like we're statically curating. Right. Like, here's part of that related. gets related by the tag as well. Right. It's also the other thing. So I would say eight. The like is uh, this is an eight. Um, login and cookies. I would say that's uh, probably a six, and yeah. not because of any technical limitation, but we have to look at all what the platform to, issues. Exactly, and what yeah. we want to do with it. How are we going to build it? How the platform supports it? Again, I know the platform does it. Exactly how? That's a big question. And mm -hmm. how much? How robust profiles are going to be, all that kind of good stuff. Mm -hmm. Session ID is the same thing. Viewer dash, that's a, I would say that's a six mm -hmm. um, in that it's not necessarily the building, but it's actually what features do we have embedded right. into it. Do we have Facebook? Do we have Twitter? Do we mm -hmm. have any additional Do we have that tracking of all the different shows we that we watch? Shows, right. what are you doing? And a lot of this might be that it's, you know, the data is coming from different places and it gets put in there mm -hmm. by a producer every week. Right, so there's a bit of manual. Compiled. So we don't know yet. So host dash and viewer dash, I'll go six, six. Uh, host workbook, this is maybe an eight. It's not that complicated. It's a short version of what we've been going through for this. Host tools, since that's kind of undefined, I'll put like a five. Uh, topic parking lot, I'll put seven. That's actually not that difficult. We're using the, um, the message uh, board kind of feature. Uh, host time together, that's really tough. Because uh, three. Uh, yeah, hosts are really hard to coordinate and get them all together. Mm -hmm. Host message board again. That's a seven if it's part of the parking lot. Scheduling showing that that's a nine. That shouldn't be that easy. That's content, or that shouldn't be that hard. That's content. Mm -hmm. A place for the content on the site. Sharing programming uh, for viewers. That should also be a seven. That's kind of features like you know. Media kit is a ten. That's easy. Easy announcements um, on the site. That's having a place for it. I think that's a nine. The VJ and the like fans, it's a tough one. That's like a five. Yeah, yeah that's not a pretty easy one. So the network overview, That's I think that's fairly easy. Yeah, that's, that's like an eight. Side. It's a content issue. I mean, sometimes harder said than done. But cross promotions, I say that's a nine. Mm -hmm. Host camp, that's a three also. Favoriting and that in terms of obtainability and doing it, I would say that's a seven, mm -hmm. um, and then segmentation of the shows. I say that's an eight. Yeah. That's kind of like cutting and all that kind of stuff. All right. So now with the magicness of, uh, so let's select all the short term. Let's total these uh, first, actually. Yeah, let's total these first. All right. Um, it's very steel trap of mine right 18. now. Eighteen. There you go. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Eighteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, what is that? Fifteen. 15. Yeah. Twelve. 14, 14, 15, 15 11, 11, 13, 5, 5 I can do that one. <laughs> 11, 11, 18, 6, 18 14, 14, 15, 15, 11, uh, 15, 15, 11, 11, 15, 11, 11, 11, 11 13, 13, 13, 16, 16 7, 16, 16, and 15. 15. It's like the lottery. All right, so yeah. let's identify the short term ones and the uh, and one long term. Uh, and the yeah, we we, we everything is now. Anything that's eighteen or above, let's let's start with that. That's and and, and like something to really hard. note to our audience also is that this exercise is uh, facilitating this and moderating this and keeping it on track. And you know we're at forty three minutes now. We've only gone through one. Is mm -hmm. <laughs> important to actually do a timer. So we're probably going to try to get through two of these. And this we're going to have to push back and or do it on our own. Mm -hmm. um, uh, all right. So let's um, let's keep going through this. So it's short term. So yeah, okay. So I'm gonna just highlight the 18s and aboves. That one, there's a 19 right there. <gasps> wow, we're getting a lot of priorities. Well, uh, a lot of them are a lot of them are actually very. Similar. A lot of them are very repeated. Yeah. So here's another one. I really want a host section. schedule. I really want this host camp thing. 
Host camp is that what just came out? No. 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 Host camp got a seven. Host camp is seven. like the lowest. 14. There's a five There's a five. There. There's a five. There's a five. There's so this five. is good. I mean, the 16, the cross promotion, that's fine. But yeah. this clear priorities, show templates, easy yeah. uh, community message boards, wayfinding related content like it's going I mean, back to community sketch, sketch. it's going back to the same thing we've always this said is the core that, that we, we need to build that we really need to get like a, a core tool and a core place for us to be able to enable all that stuff is like we're making the content we're getting it out there but we want people to know about it thank you thank you everyone for participating in this i could talk but i'm going to actually move us forward to the next thing in mm -hmm. the last 15 minutes that we have so that we can really get through this um or the other option by the way barrett <laughs> is to show in this and jumping out of awareness into this and just talking a little bit about how triangulating the needs of the users and the needs of the, uh, and maybe just doing one example of this instead of. I mean, it's up to you guys, really. But I, I would suggest for the purposes of the show that we, we've done two of three of these. People yeah. get pretty, the point. Pretty they understand system. how to do this. I agree. Uh, this is a new system. Let's jump into this. And before we do, I'd like to suggest that we can consolidate our efficiency into two main topics, mm -hmm. and that is the, the community community discussion, mm -hmm. and then the uh, kind of informational content yeah. that's coming can, out. Can of we it. be clear what that means so, so that I'm not confused? If, if that's fair, yeah. if we took those top chunk of, of things, yeah. um, community messaging, wayfinding, uh, related content. That's uh, uh, I'm sorry, not related content. Because these are different. The, was, the, the related content and tagging is similar. Wayfinding is different than messaging, and easy community is somewhat, similar. these two are somewhat similar. Th those are communication, those two, I think, and then scheduling, wayfinding, uh, related, content. related content kind of come into the, the informational content. Yeah, so it's communication kind of architecture. They're all fine, it's understandable from the concept, since I'm moderating and we're on a live show, let's actually just continue moving forward and yeah. we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that as it is. So let's try to explain that in the, in the last few minutes. All we're trying to do real quick for the audience is we're trying to relate what originally we got from the users. So if you're watching the last two episodes, what the users specifically uh, had as needs, we're trying to relate them to what we have as business needs and goals. And the, the, the key for that is that we're going to spawn, quote unquote, that sounds weird, but we're going to have the features and functionality of the site uh, that we're going to recommend come out of the union of what the feature uh, of what the, the the people that are watching the show you and the network what their needs are so wherever there's overlaps that's where we're going to have features and functionality and just to be clear most of this stuff isn't necessarily going to be huge revelations and people are going to go like oh my god we would have never thought of this all it's going to do is put the whole process through a, a, a process, per se, mm -hmm. that will help uh, validate it for your customer. So f for an example, if we went through this process and then said, here are the features and functionality that we all agreed upon, mm -hmm. um, are you in, agree in agreement, Mr. Customer? And you say yes. Mm -hmm. Down the line, when we're designing the site, you know, there can't be a disagreement or a right. misunderstanding. So because it's we went to get buy-in. It helps it's you get getting to get buy-in. Finally. Yeah. And it's also to do the thinking together. I mean, mm -hmm. I can ask you to come up with all this thinking on your own, right? Uh, or we can do it all on our own. But in either case, it wasn't done sufficiently together for it to make any sense. It might not be as valuable for me if you just hand it over because I have to validate it as the expert. Mm -hmm. And it, it might not be as valuable for you because you feel like you just told the expert everything you right. needed. You know, so you're like, well, why did I, why did I hire you? If I had to tell you what to exactly. do. Exactly. So in some ways, this is just a really long handshake. Yes, but, like but in the analogy. best way possible. Yes, it's mm -hmm. just like, okay. Not an yes. awkward one at all. Not, not an awkward <laughs> one at all. <laughs> all right, so, so for an example for that, let's just do one here. We already pre-populated, and in the future this will be available as an iPad app. We already pre-populated user one, which mm -hmm. is, we put the, the sponsor as user one, Susan Richardson, mm -hmm. and her two top needs were return on investment on the money she's investing into the network and real partnership between mm -hmm. us and the network. So over here, on the revenue side, we put um, the partnership program and sponsorship as the two things that we came out with from this exercise with Jason Calacanis. That was a, those were two of the three top priorities, partner program and sponsorship, in terms for us to make money, for mm -hmm. the network to make money. The, the ones that just came out of efficiency, and Barrett said, and I'm understanding this, bear with me because I'm a little slow, especially I'm wired on, cup, on cupcakes. Um, mm -hmm. on sugar. So the, the, the c there's communication, which is this, messaging and easy community, yeah. and then there's uh, related content. I think that those two, the wayfinding and related content is what I'm seeing, Barrett, I'm hearing, right. but the wayfinding and related content is one thing, community is another. Right. So this is easy to use, it's related to you, and this is community. Yeah. So why don't we call it community um, as one, so where people can talk 
community, mm -hmm. and we call the other one. Uh, simple information. Yeah. Simple Especially information. I think that's too vague. Okay. Uh, simple information can be like simple type layout. You know, but it, it, it's going back to stressing the fact that like you were talking about information architecture. Our our site like really. It isn't designed for where people can go and what they can get. It's relevance. Relevance is really what we're looking for. That's more, 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 more specific than simple. Simple is simple. It's good. I like simple. That's not a bad one. So re simple relevance or relevance. Mm -hmm. So people want to know what's important to them. Why? 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 Why does it care to me? So community and relevance. Those are the two things. Why am I watching and who am I watching it with? OK, so let's leave it. Those are that. We're at the 49-minute mark. Um, so let's come up with some ideas. And I know we've been coming up with a lot of ideas already of things that we want. But very concretely, around this idea of now return on investment, the partner program, and the sponsorship uh, aspect, what are the things that for Susan Richardson, her need is return on investment? What are features and functionality that we can come out of this exercise for the partners program and for ROI? She's going to have the data now. She's going to know who the partners are. She's going to know how much what they're interested in, what topics they're interested in. Right. So well, she not, now also she has a direct pathway. They, we, we can open up communication directly from the sponsor, directly to the partners. I, I can give you a great example. We're getting ready to um, book a guest for this week in video games. And normally, they would just send us a, a piece of uh, gear. And um, we'd go with that gear. And we would just show it. We just put it on. We're like, hey, yeah, we got to play with this connect you know, thing that modifies it so you can work in a room. And it's cool. Instead of that, we're going to actually have them on the show. We're going to have them demoing it. We're going to have them answering questions live. Imagine if you had that with the partner program, where instead of me just throwing you something, I could actually throw it out. And maybe they could pick five people randomly from the partner program, and they could do a pilot where, here, you guys go and take these because we trust you, and you're part of the value relationship. Um, and you come back and tell us what you think of it. Or if, if, Susan, if Susan had a product that isn't ready for, for the market yet, but she wanted to demo people who she could trust, she knows our partner program is somebody you can trust. And, and who is motivated. It's relevant to them. Exactly. And you might be able to get a great sense of like a feedback. The same way we want community, I would imagine these people want the same kind of community too. So you, are you, go ahead, Barrett. A couple of really good things just I think were said. Uh, a community testing program with the partners, a, an early access program mm -hmm. uh, that for ROI that she can see, she has direct access to influencers mm -hmm. and like influencer incentives, because those are the people in the partner program. Exactly. And so really, she can be in the partner program with all of other she people. She can be the host of the can, partner program. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Even though that feels a little awkward for us, because then we're not a big deal. There's all possibilities mm -hmm. possible. So you're saying that the sponsor, Susan, should be part of the partner programs. You're saying that there's already opportunities that are coming out of that that are really mm -hmm. creating uh, great opportunities for our sponsors, uh, yeah. for our partners, about with direct access. So it's, in a way, it's direct access and uh, what's the best ROI because engagement. Mm -hmm. So really, right now, we're in a world of like, hey, how many viewers do you have? Who gives a right. F how many viewers we have? Well, that's not true. We do, we do care how many viewers we have. Please watch. But like, how many active viewers exactly. and what are they active about? Oh, and I love it. That's, that's I love the difference it. between us and buying an ad on TV. Mm -hmm. Really? When you buy an so, ad on TV, you're buying a shotgun, and you don't even know who you're hitting. Right. We're not selling you the people like right. on TV. We're selling you the relationship exactly. with the people because you exactly. can have it actively on our platform. Yep. Damn. So come Google, we're coming Snap. to get you. That's like that being part Snap. of the discussion. I think really having being, part, be, of the being discussion. part of the discussion is, is active direct access. Yeah. Great. That's brilliant. Mm -hmm. I'm done. That already paid the bill for cool. what we're working on. All right, moving on now. We, we, the last eight minutes. All right. So let's get a few more really quickly through this because mm -hmm. we have some really good stuff up here. All right. So we have one. Let's go to another uh, user real quick uh, in the same uh, issue. Ch examples in community, uh, and you guys can jump in anytime. So, Rebecca Morse, she needs examples of how to do it. She needs like other people who've done it. She needs, you know, modeling. You know, it goes right back down to the relevance of the community for her. I mean, in terms of relevance, if we look at what we were talking about there, it's having the related content, it's having the the wayfinding, it's having the scheduling. Like, like I get, yeah. yep, further down. Here? Right. Yeah, yes. Oh, okay. So you're doing for her. Community. For it's both of those. For Rebecca, okay. it's oh, I need examples. I have the community. I have all those people who are already doing it or the people who are kind of thinking about ah, doing it in the same way. So the way. community that I'm uh, giving her access to is the examples yeah. on the community. OK, and so those are direct. Relevance in terms of examples. Like if well, we give her really specific ways to get to the content. There's a match. There's a tit for tat here yeah. that just occurred. We, we don't We're have to. We're offering community and she needs So this is message boards. We got, we got that. This is a Facebook group. This is yeah. actually community that goes beyond the site, but that's integrated in with the site. Exactly. So this is 
this is is a, a meetup in her area around mm -hmm. the network. And this does happen yep. where you have direct. So again, for the viewers watching, what just happened here is that one of the goals that we have as a business from an, uh, from a, what we set out to do, one of the goals that uh, or the needs that um, the user has were already both the same. So it was, they mm -hmm. kind of triangulated here very clearly. And that's what this exercise is trying to do. Because we don't come up with uh, features and functionality for a website out of our arse, as the British would say. We have to really kind of quantify or mm -hmm. qualify why it is. So I love that. That's actually a really great correlation. So let's talk about, for examples, you already she for relevance, relevance, but I, you know, going back to it, I think the partner program, especially for what we've talked about for it, that so this is up here. Yeah, I think for, that for examples, the partner program could be one more over. Oh, examples, yeah, yeah examples and partner program. Okay, so for, for her, anyway, we were talking about the you know we million dollar club idea, or the idea yes. of being able to offer a, a very tight community of very focused people ah. that are either have already done it, want to explain to you how they've done it, or are going through it with you. Directly, so to right? be explicit to our viewers, so mm -hmm. in the partner programs for Jason's show, mm -hmm. and in the partner program that we're going to be doing for other shows like this week in mm -hmm. uh, web design, this show, we're going to have examples of what we're doing. So like right now, many of you are getting for free mm -hmm. the templates to these processes, mm -hmm. uh, but that when we have the partner programs, you have to be a partner. Mm -hmm. You have to, to get pay us. To, to get examples. So the partner program is a goal for us from a revenue standpoint mm -hmm. and meets the need of our mm -hmm. users. So yep. hey, would our users pay because they need it? Yes. Yep. We know our users need it. They, I have tons of tweets that say, hey, give me the templates. And I can give you a great example ju just in terms of graphics. Uh, there's a lot of message boards. There's a lot of forms of the exact things that we're talking about. But one of the things you always deal with is signal and noise because you have people of all different kinds of intentions. You get people who are like, I just want to talk about graphics. Or there's people who are like, I need to figure out how to do this one thing in Photoshop. And when I need an answer like that, I have a go-to place that I pay for to go and make sure that I have experts, or I have other people around that have the same like level Validation, of expertise, yeah. and they can get me answers right away. So, so there is a it, there's a format for having a low signal noise ratio that someone that in that situation like, man, I've been successful. I want to change my career. I don't want to go to 18 different message boards and maybe kind of get some info. I want to go where there's other people exactly like me. That'd be a huge benefit for it. A nice intersection by where, where community and partner program also can interact. Because the mm -hmm. partner program can actually be the guides for some of the community that she's looking for yeah. as a career changer. The partner programs can be her mentors right. that, that, that she's looking to for advice. Mm -hmm. I agree. So so one thing that, that I think that 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 it's coming out of this really clearly. And we can move on to Jeff McDonald as a super fan to see if some of these things are also correlating. And of course, when we get to awareness, it's going to be kind of uh, clear that like some of the things about this is awareness related to these specific issues but um, or these specific things. If we were to go through partner program and inspiration and partner program and mentorship with Jeff, what would be some of the features that would come out of it? Like we talked about this before the show a little mm -hmm. bit. You know, Jeff being able to get on with just be able to get on, Jason. on the phone with Jason for an hour. Yeah, I mean that, that that's what everybody wants with hosts. Or if somebody wanted to get on the phone every month for an hour with me mm -hmm. to talk about either their practices or their projects or things that are happening, not only mm -hmm. with me but with experts on the projects uh, mm -hmm. or other experts that come on the show. Exactly. This could be a really simple meetup event. This could yes. be something that was a local a local type event. Um, exactly. Partner programs also including in local events. Actually, yeah, that's interesting. Local events. That's interesting. And mentorship and inspiration. I mean, I, I mean, they both count, yeah. So I mean, I mean, relevance and community. So for sponsorship, let's jump back here as we're kind of jumping back and forth. This mm -hmm. is like tic tac toe. Uh, for sponsorship and ROI and sponsorship and partnership. So these are the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sponsorship and partner are kind of the same thing. So what what are the things? What is it that we're talking about here? She wants partnership. We want sponsors or partners. Right. And we can we can even almost in a way change this to have it say the same thing. We don't want sponsors. We don't want people to give us money. Mm. Um, <laughs> Matt's looking at me like, what mm. is he saying? We want people uh, to give us money for a long time. Uh, I mean, we, I mean, we, don't, if you yeah, want, we don't want people we don't just want, to give us money for eyeballs. We want yeah. people to give us money to be a partner yeah. in the development of the network. Yeah, I don't I don't want to get a sponsor and get X from them. I want to get a sponsorship and get X times twelve from them so one over the course of a year. That meets at that point is really a very clear brand alignment between at that intersection. That is our brand alignment. Right what there. does that mean? So, what does partner and partner mean in terms of what are the features and functionality? It could be a section that says, "Are you a person like this, like this, and like it this?" It is. It is a very, very clearly defined expectation of who we are and who we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what does that mean for a feature on the site? So this that's is, about us. This is this is our about. This is our story. This is our uh, our mission and purpose. 
are some of the areas of the site that this will address too. This is actually front page, top of fold, yep. uh, con really, really uh, header-based content of mm -hmm. this is our mission in three bullet points or three yeah. words. We do this for that. I mean, to be honest, if, if we had wayfinding built in, there'd be a way for me to be able to say, I need to build a story based on our content for this specific sponsor. I mean, right now, if I could say, watch these five episodes in this playlist that I created for you, and after that, you'll know why you should be you a know, sponsor. I'm, I'm That'd be awesome. I'm hearing what you're saying, the wayfinding thing, and I'm seeing this exercise that we're doing, and I'm like, the site should have something like where you say, I'm looking for this, and you know, it kind of lets you like pinpoint yeah, like totally. a little like slider, and you go, that's what I want, mm -hmm. and it produces all the content that you like want. I, yeah, I, I, as we said that, and we were kind of joking around about like the VJ, like everybody loves turntable, and the whole like, I, I think that that's actually going to become an incredibly powerful tool mm -hmm. for viewers and for us as producers. Because if I could say, I have hosts that I'm trying to book for all different shows, and I could say, here's these three pieces of content that you can watch in five minutes, mm -hmm. and I have a tool within the site that I can just publish a playlist just for him, mm -hmm. instead of having to go and get this stuff and get another editor to try to make, if I can make sizzle reels through a tool built on my site, that yeah. would be amazing yeah. for sponsors, for hosts, for, for guests, mm -hmm. for viewers who we could be potentially getting, telling you why do you want to waste time watching our stuff. I could build it right away. You could build it right away. That would be awesome and a key differentiator from any other site that we've had in our competitors. I love that idea. And we actually did that for a video site where we were beginning to create um, the ability for the viewers to look at specific segments within a show and mm -hmm. then begin to re-put re them together. And, and it's all possible if you believe in, um, in God. That didn't sound right. <laughs> the wrong show. That's this week in transformation. Um, so I want to wrap up, and it's we're exactly at the one hour mark. Um, and I want to say a couple of things. First of all, thank you, gentlemen, for the participation. Thank you. You know, how, how do you feel? And I know that you're a little bit under the weather, Matt. But after this exercise, as one of the key producers, someone who has a huge vested interest in the network and who's been a great mentor around programming for me and, and helped shepherd this show through the valley of mediocrity, and now it's a pretty awesome show. Um, what what um, what would you say in one word that today's exercise uh, continues to, to 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 do for you? Hmm. Disclosure. Disclosure meaning. I think that we're finally seeing what we need in order to move forward. That not only as a website but as a company. As a company, got mm -hmm. it. Clear. Thank you. Uh, clarity. Clarity. Just like like we've talked about a million different things, but seeing what sponsors need, what we need, what you need, what viewers need, they're starting to all kind of line up. That That's awesome. No, thank you. I appreciate that. Lining up, I like that. That exercise is lining up. Mm -hmm. Barrett. I'm going to use the word alignmentization. What which the is a great fuck word. is that? Alignment and prioritization that's all that's together. That's, but alignment, that's, that's like users. Alignmentization. Yeah, users. Alignmentization. alignmentization. Wait, wait, repeat it so that our viewers can hear this. Alignmentization. I like it. Alignmentization. Alignment and prioritizing <laughs> all together. Can we call today's episode that? Sure. Today's alignmentization. Episode is we just need to figure out how to spell it. it. Alignment, alignmentization. Alignmentization. No, no, they're going to have to spell it. We're going to figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. also tied into the chair. I couldn't remember. Alignmentization. You don't want to break the microphone. Alignmentization. You heard it here first. Alignment. So what is that? That's alignment plus prioritization. prioritization. Yeah. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you hear it first. And, and one final note I want to make before I kind of wrap up and talk a little bit about next week. And again, thank you, gentlemen. Um, the word that I'm going to use is not alignmentization. It's going to be um, um, clarity already got used. So I want to, I want to, you know, amazement. And, and, and here's why. And, and we're sharing with you something that we've been developing and that we work with all the time. And it's very clear. But I want you guys to understand that we are going to get to the visual stuff. We are going to get to the graphics. It is going to look pretty. But this process, to me, uh, removing the, 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 the guesswork from the user experience process, removing the pain from the, the, the teams yeah. because of the lack of alignment and because of, you know, oh, well, that's not what we wanted. Or can, it, it, very specifically, where we're going to go next is that we're going to take all these prioritized features and functionalities that we did with the team. We're going to put them on index cards. And we're going to work here uh, in the in the This Weekend studio to prioritize them from a tech point of view and from a time point of view and from a cost point of view. Because at the end of the day, what we're going to show you guys is how we're coming up with the estimate for the design and building of the site right here, live on the show. So a lot of you might struggle with, well, how should I uh, price out a site? You might be an agency, and you might be struggling how to price out a site. Heck, we would be just guessing on the pricing for a site if we didn't do something like this. Keep it in mind to remind you guys, we're in a discovery phase that This Weekend Network has contracted us and is paying us only to do this process that we're doing right here in front of you. 
the, 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 the goal of it is that we're going to come out with prioritized features and functionality, what we're going to do first, and a site map of, of the site, and you know, some preliminary wireframes, that we're then going to use that as a baseline for pricing out what the site's going to cost to design and to build. Keeping in mind that if you don't do that, you're just guessing, mm -hmm. um, and you didn't do the work with the client to prioritize. And this is not a small client. The This Weekend Network is you know, a funded you know, startup that's doing been around for a bit and is doing some pretty good stuff. And, and it's exciting. I'm not only, it's like the hair club for men. I'm not only <laughs> consulting the This Weekend Network, mm -hmm. I'm also a user. Because I do a show every week live here for you. Oops. So, what? Wow, that's cool. I didn't know that. Didn't Th that know. I'm part of the hair club for men. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, um, <laughs> but, but just I want to make sure, and it's, it's hard for me to explain. Am I, am I making any sense, Ryan? Yeah. That, that I, I feel very passionate about this, that, and, I, and, I, and I, feel not, I feel like when people ask me, like, Jose, why isn't this stuff about the visual? Mm -hmm. This is the end to end user experience process, and that's why at the beginning of the show, when I open it up, it goes, you know, hey, look, your questions in business, mm -hmm. creative, technology, and marketing. That's web design, all four of those things. Not just one thing, not just the visuals. So the visuals are coming. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next week.